Coach, can you update us on any possible lineup changes for tonight? Uh, Fraser's plan. I think Leo's playing. I'll know what uh, game time, but I think he's playing. He practiced yesterday. I just want to take the morning off. Fraser has earned the opportunity here tonight, given how hard he's worked in his career, and specifically with the Marlins. Well, I guess you know uh, I didn't know who he was. Obviously, when he came to camp, uh, he's competed hard. Uh, the coaches down there tell me he's been their best player and most competitive guy. We're trying to get more competitive down the middle of the rink. And so, you know, the ball's in his court. It's kind of a good opportunity playing in Montreal. It's a fun place to play. They're 8-0. It's your first game in the National Hockey League. I think it's a good deal. Does this end a wake-up call to some of your depth centers as well? Well, I'm not interested in wake-up calls. I mean, I think when you play in the National Hockey League, you know every day if, if you don't compete, someone's going to have your job. So to me, you know, I, I don't think we're doing that at all. We're just trying to find a way to evolve our lineup to be the best we can possibly be, and that's what we're going to continue to do. What's the start the Canadians have right now? <laughs> well, I think the goalie's good. I think uh, their first line right now is the best line in the National Hockey League right now with the way they're playing. Uh, they have left and right-hand shots in each pair on the back end. They move the puck good. You can trust all four centers. Uh, they seem to be playing hard as a group. I mentioned the goalie's good. <laughs> Anybody else? Did you Thanks. expect to use Spalling as much as you have, or has it been changed with Bozak? Well, obviously with Bozak out, Bozak I thought was really playing well for us. And the first time we played Montreal, I think Bozak played just about every five-on-five -five shift against Placanic. Obviously not here tonight. But the other thing about injuries, and especially to keep people, it gives you opportunity to find other people. So there's way more emphasis on Spalling and Kadri right now than maybe there would be otherwise but you know the way I look at it is if you play real good you get to play it's real simple for me I don't spend a whole lot of time looking at the time sheets till after the game when someone asks me okay Spalding played this much or I just try to play the right guys do you feel your guys um, can embrace this challenge do you, do you want to be the first team to beat the Montreal Canadiens this year okay well we want to win tonight okay <laughs> no. we're in Montreal right yeah there you go so let's just go from there you know I don't think anybody said uh, Jeez. You don't use it as extra motivation. Well, I think we're pretty motivated anyway. Okay. But I think they're big boys. I think they can read and see what's going on. Uh, we played Montreal real well last time, if I remember. Uh, Carey Price stood on his head. Yeah. And so we got to make them do that again. Uh, they're obviously got growing in confidence and have gotten better and better. And so we feel we've gotten better and better. Now we're going to find out tonight. Every time you play, you have a test and you find out where you're at. Why did you put Matt back with Dion when Jake went out? Uh, because I felt it gave us two real good pairs. Uh, I didn't think that uh, having Riley and Hunwick together and then Dion with, well, I don't know who you're going to put him with, Polak or Harrington or, or Amaranson was as good. So this gives me two pairs. Mike, are there major differences between the way your two teams approach the game, the way you, the style, style game? You mean us in Montreal? Yeah. I don't know. You'd have to ask their guys. Uh, all I know is the, what the Leafs are trying to do. Uh, I think they're. Uh, I think Montreal is a good team with a good talent base that has improved. I think they've done a good job with adding some of the players they did at the deadline last year. Uh, I think uh, Virgie's done a good job with that. I think they're playing well. Uh, they got a few stars. Obviously, the goalies won. PK Markov's having a good year, but up front they have some kids that have really come. I think uh, they're a good team. So. Th I'm a big believer the better you, players you have and the harder you work, the more you have the puck. And then sometimes two teams playing exactly the same way, one looks different because one never has the puck and one has the puck all the time.